About 90 seconds to the opening bell on this Monday. Keep your eye on the auto space, Jim. FT's got a piece about Volkswagen warning that the auto chip shortage will force a bigger production cut in Q2 than in Q1, and we're going to no, definitely no. look to Ford to see if they ratify that. I think that we're starting to see the end of the end of the tightness, Carl. I was doing a lot of work on Skyworks on Friday. Uh, I think Skyworks, when they made this acquisition from Silicon Labs, uh, will be able to make a lot more chips. Uh, I see uh, Taiwan Semi starting to talk about making lower-end ch uh, chips, which is what you need, uh, the auto companies need. I think that uh, as much as I like Volkswagen, I, I, I have a feeling that they are out of step with what's been happening in the last 72 hours. And the last 72 hours have been very good news for a lot of the auto companies. And I think the fourth quarter is going to surprise people. Uh, and this is, at, this, is weekend, this is stuff I did over the weekend. Uh, so I'm feeling quite confident that things are about to change. Remember, the reason why the autos didn't have any relief is because they're making the lowest end. Uh, David, it's the lowest end chips, and it was not uh, advantageous. Taiwan Semi saying, we'll do it for you. It's big. Is Skyworks. It Hmm. All right, that's a little out of consensus because they do seem well, to keep see, indicating this is going to go on well, longer than people see, anticipated out of, initially. Well, I, I, I'm very homework driven, David. Amen to that, Carl. No, it's true, Jim. You're, it's, we've tried to make that point a couple of times that, that automakers don't necessarily have the biggest leverage because their part of the mix is not the biggest and certainly, as you said, not at the top of the pricing structure. But we'll see if... Um, they can make this the worst of it that well, we're in right now. Right. It would we'll be great news Right, overall. we'll hear from Ford. I, I, have, I happen to think that you're, the tone is going to change. But someone got to Taiwan Semi and said, look, you know, enough. Start making them. And I think it's very significant. Uh, we'll hear from AMD this week. Uh, maybe they're not uh, auto, but I do think that there is an easing. Cisco said there's no easing on DRAM, David. No easing on DRAMs. Right. Yeah. But these are not DRAMs. These are very low-end chips right. that has not been, uh, product, been uh, lucrative. But I think Ford and GM are going to be surprised that the chips come. That there's going to be more supply yes. than I think. Yes. All right, good. Be helpful. Got to mm -hmm. sell cars, trucks. Exactly. Yes. David. Exactly. <laughs> Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.